I'm Laura McCormick, and I am joined today by Gerardo Franco, originally from Hi. San Luis Potosi, Mexico, now residing in Monterrey. It's your full title now. Starts off 0-0. Zero, zero. Quick side out. This should be a really interesting matchup. We saw Ocho. That's what we've named our dark horse of the tournament. You had some experience playing him uh, this weekend, Gerardo. Can you give us some insight on Ochoa's game? Well, he's pretty fast all the time. He's a fighter in the court. Uh, he's a tough player. Shots. Yeah, he played really solid in his quarterfinal against Padilla. Pulled off the win in the breaker, 11-9. That's a tough rally to start off uh, game one. <laughs> yeah, right. A bit of a warm up there in that first <laughs> <laughs> first tough rally and a first point for David Horn. Ooh. Looks like it skipped. Ernesto Ochoa out of Chihuahua, Mexico. We've seen him at a couple of WRT events. It's great to have him on board here. There's a lot of great players out of Chihuahua. Yes. A lot of racquetball play there. A lot of racquetball. And David Horn out of Stockton, California, one of the biggest racquetball hubs in the United States. In the United States, yes. He's from Stockton, but he currently lives in Pleasanton. There. Zero serving one. Nice. I'm not Bobby sure asking? what Bobby could be asking for. So I'm not sure what um, Horn was asking for, but there's no replay. Point for Horn. So, Gerardo, do you have any predictions for this for this match? Come no, on. No, I don't. Oh, come on. Actually, I don't. You got to put something out there. Um, my only prediction could be that Ernesto, he's not afraid about anything right now. He's pretty sure, pretty confident right now. So, that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> that's a good one. It's been... Uh, Tournament so far for me. Yeah, you're still continuing to play in the semifinals of doubles, and mm -hmm. your partner is Alex Cardona. Oh, yeah. Cardona. We're playing against Ernesto and his partner, Alan Natera. Yeah, that should be a fun matchup. I 
I mean, I think one big difference between these two players right now is going to be experience. You know, just has more experience in that tour kind of lifestyle. I've mentioned that before. I don't know how it was for you starting to break into the tour because you're kind of a vet now. You've been playing on the WRT for like three <laughs> years and you're still very young at 19 years old. Yeah. yeah. Still um, but at the same time, you know, it does take a toll. Like, do you, did you find that there was an adjustment where you had to get used to playing, you know, three, four, seven matches a weekend, playing back to back and then traveling? It's, it's fun. I just. <laughs> You came in you're so young to it. Uh, yeah, I started, I started playing the tour like when I was 15. I think it was my first tournament. And so now that's this is how your life goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ernesto Ochoa, we've seen him in the last couple years. In the last couple years yeah. and tournaments too. And we've seen him now coming out to more um, tournaments in the United States. <laughs> He pushed himself so hard. He loves the ball. He trains every day. Point for Ochoa. That's going to put him on the board. 1 4. Bobby Horn has four WRT titles of his own, and he's won three of those in 2017. 17. He won his first event in 2015 at the San Luis Open. He had defeated uh, Jake Bredenbeck for his first ever title. And now he's come back to win a couple events this year, including the Midwest Championship, uh, he won in Atlanta. He and the won, last WRT. Yeah, the last WRT one. event. In Salt Lake City. In Utah. That's in right, Utah. the Rocky Mountain Open. So he's having quite a year. And he's in a great position to finish his number one. It's fun watching a player like Ernesto Ochoa, though, come up. He made his first quarterfinal here this week. Now he's in his first semifinal, all within the same yes. tournament, and and he's playing like like a vet himself. He has nothing to lose. Yeah. I'm happy for him. Another point for Ochoa. <laughs> Very lucky shot. You know when Ernesto starts scoring, he gets like this streak and continuously making points, making points and starts scoring, scoring and another and another. Starts building some momentum, getting a little uh -huh, streaky. Yeah.
skip for Ochoa. Puts Bobby Horn up now, 6-3. Three, first time out. We'll take a quick break here at the Alamo City Open. When we come back, David Horn continues serving against Ernesto Ochoa. We're back in the semifinals. David Horn leading 7-3 in game one. Wow, no trouble for Ernesto Ochoa. Nope. He's pretty good according to serves, the glove serves. Side out. Four serving seven. So there's a little bit of a battle here for number one. Bobby Horn is possibly in a position to end up as the number one player. He's battling it out right now with Rodrigo Mendoza. Both in the semifinals at this event. And I think actually what would be really exciting is if the two of them ended up in the final. What an ultimate battle then yes. for number one. Because the winner not just wins the tournament. They win rights to the player. <laughs> but Ernesto Ochoa has been really fun to watch. He's so scrappy, so agile. I'd say he's a player to look out for in 2018. Five nine in game one. a high backhand for Horn. Pulls it out. 10-5. Five serving ten in game one. These guys are battling to go to the finals tomorrow. <laughs> Live streaming. <laughs> That's 
serve is working for Horn. I feel like it's such an untraditional serve. Like, you just don't see it too much, that backhand. Yeah. He's using a very good strategy. He's pushing. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Ochoa right there to pick up that <laughs> short ball. Puts him at 6-11. I like Ochoa's energy out there too. In his previous quarterfinal, we saw his training partner and teammate, Alan Etera, sitting on the sides, acting yeah, as a coach. He's not there now, but Ochoa has kept <laughs> That's fun to watch. Let's see if we get that on the replay. We'll play it in the next break. 12-6. We saw Horn kind of want to go for that backhand. He waited yeah, and then switched to the forehand. That was pretty cool. But Ochoa winning that rally. 6 12. Ochoa just he's coming. playing, yeah, with no fear. I like that's um, enough again. He's doesn't seem you know, it doesn't seem like this is his first semifinal. Doesn't seem. Yep, he's, he doesn't look afraid. Yeah, I love it. If he's like playing, whatever is fine. He's totally in his own zone right now. And Horn has really turned things up this year too. I feel like he's. Uh, Kind of adapted some different things into his game style too. He really tries to stay calm out there. You see him yeah, starting kind to like. Of change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He added the hat and the full leg. Yeah. Full, uh, <laughs> wow, Ochoa. 9 12. And do you know how old Ochoa is? I believe he's 22. 22. From Chihuahua, Mexico. Wow. He's just gone on a run. You I mentioned that you. he gets streaky yeah. and he just starts to score points in a row and look at that he's now up to 10 12. keeping that pressure on horn you saw that good anticipation by horn he knew that that serve yeah, was going to that side he just totally way. cheated and ran over there early Short serve, I'll get a second.
both. Gerardo, what do you think Horn needs to do differently to kind of break some of this momentum that Ochoa has found? I don't know. What would you do if you were Horn in this position? What would I do? Would you call a timeout? Would you, what would you do differently? Um, probably change the strategy. Like, well, I usually do my pinches all the time. And I see Horn is not doing that, and that's why, that's why it works for me when I play Ochoa. Behind the back. You see all the that Ochoa is making to Bobby. Bobby has to take advantage of that. Yeah, so switching up those shots if what you're doing isn't working, like mm -hmm. he's not doing the pinches, so try shooting some more pinches. Time out for Archoa. Let's take a look back at a couple of these replays here that we captured from the rally so far. There's one replay each for those players. Ochoa oh, really keeping himself in this semifinal here. Now the winner goes on to the finals tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time. You can catch that at worldracquetballtour.com, gearboxsports.com, and Facebook Live. Hope you're following the WRC on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you should also Everyone. give a follow to Gerardo oh, yeah. Franco. For sure. You're on all those outlets, right? Yeah. Definitely Instagram and Facebook. You got a Twitter? <laughs> Ooh, and a quick ace for David Horn. First set point. 14 10. Refs. Oh, I thought the ref was calling it a point. Oh, they're both confused. Choa looks pretty surprised. So they're going to replay it. Well, we'll see if this affects Horn or not. He's getting a little <laughs> animated yeah. with his explanation. 14-10, replay. Ooh, and a side out. Ochoa holds on. 10-14. going already to the yeah. other side. Second serve. Ochoa is sneaking one pass horn. 11-14, game one of our semifinal. Oh, 
mind. Ochoa really holding on. I don't think that replay call affected Horn like too much I don't know. in a mental standpoint, but Probably. it's hard to tell because, yeah. I mean, he seems like he has it together out there, but Ochoa is just chipping away. I think Bobby stopped. <laughs> yeah, maybe. a point for Ochoa. He's coming back. Man, this kid is really holding on. One more streak. There's that streaky prediction as you called it. They're going to replay it. Horn hitting Ochoa there. And he's got something to say about it. Yeah, he's asking why. Why not? What are your thoughts on it, Hutter? Yeah, it was not avoidable. <laughs> you think it wasn't avoidable? Well, they're going to replay it 13-14. opportunity for Ochoa. Pretty outstanding. I mean, he really dug his way out of that, and you called it. He gets uh, streaks and all yeah, the right definitely. places. 14-14. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Bobby oh. Horn Guides him out, holds on. 14-14, this will be the second game for David Horn. It's just been an outstanding day of racquetball. Some yes. incredible matchups this weekend. Full of racquetball. Oh my goodness. Well, we tried it to do a, to a crack it. Yep, switching up. Oh no, wiping down the court, my bad. 14-14. We'll resume serving Ochoa on the second game point. This turns out to be a really evenly matched semifinal. As I expected. Oh, is that the prediction that you didn't want to make in the beginning of this <laughs> match, Gerardo? Yeah. Just checking. That's what I believe. Ochoa has nothing to lose. Okay, that's true. You did say that. Oh, and Ochoa puts it down. Closing out game one, 15-14. Our Dark Horse wins game one. We'll be back in just a few moments with more of the Alamo City Open semifinal game two. Yeah. Absolutely unpredictable. We're back in the semifinals of our Alamo City Open where Ernesto Ochoa made a comeback to win game one, 15-14 against David Horn. Horn is ranked number two on the WRT right now. And there's definitely some pressure on Horn uh, because he has an opportunity to finish out the year as number one. He's not trying to and think about that. And that play definitely affect uh, mm -hmm. Bobby. He's starting to get a little too wrapped up in, 
from the interaction with the referee. Again, a quick side out for Ochoa. Zero, zero. See Bobby now not so focused on the game. Yeah, he's a little distracted, a little, mm -hmm. a little off right now. I like how Choa just sticks to his own game, though. He's definitely playing with no pressure. out. Oh, almost got it. First point for Horn. Evens it out. 1-1. One, one. Again, say it out. This is gonna be a tough game too. Horn really trying to keep focused and remain calm, keep himself right in this game. Another point for Ochoa. Yeah, I think he's able to take some of that momentum from it's game one. Streak, yeah, game. Yeah, he's starting out with a new streak for game one, game two. to see some more of my favorite shot down the line. I feel that, like we're not seeing. That's my favorite shot. And down a cross line. court pass. <laughs> I like it deep, you know? Okay. In yeah, the corners. Well. Yeah, I get it. Even though I've never seen you doing those shots. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have an opportunity to watch me tonight at 8. <laughs> One for Ernesto Ochoa. Solar, I, I 
ask you now. What's your prediction? Oh, that's an interesting. Question. What was your prediction at the beginning? <laughs> well, now you'll never know if I'm telling the truth or not. My <laughs> prediction now. <laughs> I think I. Uh, oh, sorry. No, I try not to be biased. I think it would be really interesting to see a fresh face like Ochoa go all the way to the final. I think that would be really exciting. It's fun to watch him. He plays with no fear. On the other hand, I think um, Bobby Horn's experience could really mean something. And he's in a battle for number one. That's been his goal, you know, for this year. He was there for one week. If he finished the year, I'm sure and it would be great for him. I think that's also his as something pressure for him. Yeah. I think he tries not to think about it. Um, anytime I've talked to him, he's like, So my I'll prediction is that the best player will win here today. The best player. <laughs> That's not a good prediction. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. Bobby Horn is originally from Stockton, California. He now resides in the East Bay and He's been doing a lot of coaching. He was the coach of the Team USA, USA Junior team. National Team. And he does a lot of coaching out of Pleasanton, too. You can find him at the gym hours a day, yeah. And so with Ochoa, he's um, coaching Chihuahua in a club there. And the same club we had the tournament. Oh, yeah, where we had the, the, that's right, the WRT LPIT Powell uh -huh. Open Challenge. Yeah, we saw Ernesto Ochoa there at that event. He is the coach. I think that's a great way, though, for players to, you know, kind of bring in juniors. It's so important to have a strong yeah. um, junior, agree. junior community. And Mexico does a great job of that. There's a lot of training. I know yes. uh, you come from San Luis. Um, San Luis can you talk a little bit about the program that was there in San Luis? Well, there are plenty of clubs down there. Uh, those are, all of them are private. And still a little cheap. And every club has its own trainer, so there's there's a lot of options you can you can pick to be better player. One of my favorite things about going to um, some of those events in Mexico, like uh, the Canals event we had, uh, Torneo Internacional Canals in, oh. in San Luis. I think that was th that is one of the best tournaments that, that we yes. ever had. And there were so many juniors. There yes. were so many kids running around. So many. Um, so many games happening for them, and like it's really fun to watch them running around and having a great time yes. on the court. That I was another um, part of my favorite part of going to Junior Junior Worlds, where we saw you in uh, this past November, just a couple yes. months, just a couple weeks ago. Excuse me, is yeah. watching some of those eight and ten year olds playing. Oh, it's great the to see them kids. out there. Ceiling ball battle. Ceiling who's going to get the opportunity and who's going to take it? <laughs> Nobody. Take it, take it. <laughs> Ochoa. Oh, oh, and that ball comes back at Bobby Horn. There's a lot of patience there with those ceiling balls. Coming up after this, we have Alex Cardona digging on Rodrigo Montoya in our next semifinal. Should be a tough battle, too. Good 
get from Horn. Horn with six points. Let's take a look back at that last rally. Good get there from Horn. puts it away. We just had a side out on the court, so Ochoa will step back into the service box. 4-6. Oh, Bobby. Five, six. Ties it up, 6-6. Six, six. I definitely feel like it was unexpected to see Ochoa going this far. If you asked anybody yesterday if they thought you'd see Ochoa in the semifinal, I think <laughs> And he's playing just spectacularly. We'll replay that one. to get that racket out. There's a point for Horn. Gets things moving along a little differently now. Seven, six. down the line for the side out. Pinch. Ties it back up, 7-7. Seven, seven.
fantastic performance so far for Ernesto Ochoa. Yeah. He's got to be feeling good right now, but I love that he's, I mean, he's just not acting like just he's like in the semifinal. Just like you say, he's in his home. Yeah. Bobby just hitting that ball too low to return. Side out. As these guys wipe down the court. Take a quick moment to remind you that finally there is a subscription box for racquetball players. It's customizable, so where you can pick your glove and your racquetballs. They have monthly and quarterly deliveries. And once a month, one lucky subscriber gets a super racket box with a special bonus item. You should follow them on Facebook and Twitter. Sign up. You can you can add that as a great. That's very nice. Ties it back up, 8-8. Eight, eight. I wouldn't expect anything less in our semifinals here today. We had two out of our four quarters went to breaker, including Ochoa's breaker. <laughs> he went 11-9 against Andre Parilla, the number three seed and the number three player on the WRT. Ooh. Quick point for Horn. Great return from Ochoa. Eight serving nine. Ochoa looks like leaving that ball up a little too high, and even though it was so was close to the wall, it was no problem for Horn. <laughs> David Horn with a bit of a streak now. Yes, he's got a finisher right now. Otherwise, Ochoa is going to come back. I'll be saying no. <laughs> Eleven eight. What's that? Call uh, he was. Sure. Oh, well, thought he was a good serve. serve. He was oh. short. All right, second serve. Four quick points for Horn now brings it up to twelve eight. Big momentum shifts. This is just what Horn needed. For Horn. I think it's a good time for Ochoa to call a timeout. <laughs> He's got to break this momentum that Horn has found, see if he can do something, anything, at least a timeout, even just kind of stops the bleeding a little bit, right? Yes, for sure. Well, for those of you watching at home, I'd like to remind you to vote in the player awards for 2017. You can go to that short link on the screen. It's posted on our website, worldracquetballtour.com and Facebook Live. And our very own Gerardo Franco is nominated for the Sportsmanship oh, yeah, yeah. Award. So I hope Sport. you went on and voted. You know, you can <laughs> vote for yourself. It's okay. I know, I know. won't tell anybody. <laughs> I did vote. Oh, okay. Encourage your no. friends and family to vote too then. Yeah, yeah, I told them already. We have the Sportsmanship Award, the Rookie of the Year. There's also the Fan Favorite. You can type in your favorite player to watch on the WRT. Uh, and we'll be announcing the winners. Laura McCormick is available. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we'll be announcing those winners tomorrow uh, at the finals at 12 p.m. Central Time. We'll be live streaming 
the finals tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time, followed by the doubles final as well. So we hope you all can tune in for that tomorrow. Catch it on Facebook Live and on WorldRacquetballTour.com. Timeout didn't work for Ocho. Oh, Serving 13. Now again, coming back. Ochoa. Starting to look a lot. <laughs> well, it has the potential to look like game two where he made his comeback. He came back from a 10 14 down. One more point, and Bobby's leg are going to start. Oh. 10 serving 13. So, Laura, you have a prediction already? No, I told you, I'm right down the center. <laughs> I'm happy for everybody here. Okay. <laughs> wow. Very lucky shot. Oh, my gosh. Just gets that racket on it, little bit of wrist in it. 11 13. Can't see, it's off camera, but Bobby calming himself down there in the back of the court. Oh, rolls it out from 39 and a half feet. It will be a very nice time feet. for a timeout. Yes. Yeah, Bobby Horn does have some timeouts available. It's a good time for him to take that timeout. Man, it's talk very about interesting. intensity. Let's go ahead and thank some of our sponsors for supporting the WRT, including OHE Painting and Wall Covering, United Stroke Alliance, a few seconds could save someone's life, know the signs of a stroke, TMT, Tennessee Machine Tool, Inc., thank you for supporting the World Racquetball Tour, and of course, Gearbox, Sports Gearbox Racquetball. The official ball of the WRT is the Gearbox Black Ball. The Gearbox Black Ball. And did you know they're making blue balls now, too? Are they? You can go to GearboxSports.com, check it out, put in your order. Bobby Horn calling that timeout. 12-13. Let's see what happens anymore. Anything can happen. It's 12-13. Amazing. Amazing semifinal. chatter between the players. <laughs> Second serve for Horn. 13-12. Nice side out for Ochoa. I love his little fist pump too. I do. I don't. <laughs> I bet you don't. You <laughs> faced him in the round 16. It's a 
Good chance for Bobby now. 13-12. He's got to take it. He's got to take it right away. Oh, they're looking for the towel out there. Trying to make some time between it. What? Is that a game strategy? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Who would do that? <laughs> But it does get tough out there. I mean, these guys have been playing a lot of matches. We had a full 32-player draw. So that means everybody's been playing the same amount of matches. Again, another good shot. They've been jammed up here at 12-13 for quite some time. Let's see if Ochoa can get his 13th point. Does it 13 13? Ties it up. Keeps pushing Bobby Horn deep back now, in the court. Now, first opportunity for Chua to end it up. Fourteen, thirteen, first match point now for Ochoa. That it's wild that chance for Bobby. Mm -hmm. That wild, weird ceiling <laughs> shot, which to me is like a Londa shot. I feel like yes. Londa does <laughs> Landa those a shot. lot, right? Or Felipe's Camacho shot. Yes, or a Camacho shot, and it's kind of it gave him that setup. Thirteen, fourteen, second serve. Gonna tie it up, 14-14. Wow. Wow. Oh boy, I know we all wish we could hear what they were saying out there. I don't know. Like, hey, you wanna get lunch tomorrow? <laughs> Probably. Side out for Ernesto Ochoa. Just unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. 14 14, you another know. match point. <laughs> Woo. Oh, another chance. David Horn holding on with another chance now. Look at that grin. Fourteen fourteen. What a match. Nobody would expect this. No, there's no way anyone predicted this. I want to go back and read uh read some of the predictions that have been put out on Facebook and the different sites. Yeah. I don't think anyone saw this coming. <laughs> And I hope everyone is. <laughs> Game two goes to David Horn, 15 14, which means wow. we're going to tiebreaker. Yep. Starting it all back over, first to 11. We'll move on. We'll be back in just a few moments. We're back in the semifinals where David Horn and Ernesto Ochoa are just going at it in an unpredictable, evenly matched matchup here. Ochoa winning game one, 15-14. Horn winning game two, 
Now it's the first to 11. Literally anything can happen. I'm joined 15, by 14, Gerardo 14, Franco. 15, 15. Neither of us want to make a prediction or touch this one at all, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, definitely not. Our referee More. is Christian Longoria. He was a quarter finalist here today. He was taken out by Rodrigo Montoya, who we will see in the court in the semifinal coming up after this against Alex Cardona. This is the largest event we've had in San Antonio. This is our fourth annual event. We had over 145 players entered and uh Which there's a lot of matches happening good. at the same time yeah <laughs> player pro drop. i'll let it go and side out for david horn out for Ochoa. We have just seen some incredible competition this weekend and Ochoa opened up our quarterfinals today with a tiebreaker against Andre Perilla where he took out the number three player in the breaker 11-9. So he's had some long matches. David Horn faced Jaime Martel in the quarterfinals earlier today, defeating him 15-9-15-2. Screen serve will get a second. Ochoa moves around the court too. He like really works. Brilliant. Yeah, he works hard to get to the center of the court, but he changes direction really well. It's the first I point for that, Horn. That uh, he follows or he stays very close to the player because at the same time that he's short, <laughs> he's trying to to guess what shot the other player is gonna make. So he shadows his opponent <laughs> yes. a little bit. Well, at least I feel that in the core with him. Well, you've played Ochoa a couple times, right? At yeah. the last couple of This tournament we played, it was our third play which we played. And the first time he beat me. Won't happen again, or? <laughs> <laughs> you told me earlier you weren't going to let it happen again. <laughs> No, I don't know. We never know. That's true. You never know. And Ochoa is showing some real, some real strength here this yes. weekend. Having a great tournament for himself. <laughs> Tied up 1-1 one, one in our tiebreaker. Remember, the breaker is played first to 11, win by <laughs> one. One serving two. Oh, smart 
play from Horn. That Horn getting, uh, that, that serve getting the um, return that Horn wanted and he was able to do something with it. Four one for David Horn. Timeout from John. Probably a good thing, uh, you know. Had to break up the. Yeah, Horn's gotten Horn's gotten three points pretty quickly so far in game three. The winner of this match will move on to the finals tomorrow, which will be live streaming at 12 p.m. Central Time. We stream not only the singles, but the doubles match as well. Coming up after this, Rodrigo Montoya and Alex Cardona will battle and will go on to the finals tomorrow. This rounds out our 2017 season. And we'll open up again in another part of Texas. We'll open up at the 2018 WRT Longhorn Open, January 12th in Austin, Texas. Fantastic event, which um, all of the money raised at that event goes towards supporting the UT Racquetball Club going to um, National Collegiates. So shout out to Sully Core and the UT Racquetball Club. We can't wait to get 2018 started off. Back in the semifinal. Good side out for Ochoa. I like how he's calling his own timeouts, really knowing yeah, his own game. Out. We do see in the front row his teammate and training partner, Alan Epeta. We're giving him some guidance new throughout friend, this event. Pasita. <laughs> Maria Pass, also known as Pasita from Ecuador. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little dramatic. It was. That's Bobby, so it's normal. Four serving one, they'll get a replay. Aces, Ernesto Ochoa. Donkey. <laughs> That's a straight donkey move. <laughs> yeah. But he gets a point. 7 1. Ochoa needs to find something to break this rhythm that that one is Oh, and he skips it. 8 1. Good time out. Yeah, uh, second time out now for Ernesto Ochoa. I think he's going to get a timeout, see if he can do something different. Be interested to see what he comes back with. Don't forget, you can vote for the WRT Player Awards. We want to hear from the fans. It's the one time of the year it's where you time. actually get to put in some uh, some some input that gets directly put back out. You can show up your favorite player. Yes. Pick your favorite player. It could be Gerardo Franco. He happens to be sitting here. Could be Alex Cardona. It could be Ernesto Ochoa. Any of the players that you see on the WRT are eligible for that award. You can also vote for for the rookie of the year or for the sportsmanship award. You can find that at bit.ly backslash vote WRT. Eight 
serving one. Horn is just now in the zone, and that's exactly where he needs to be if he wants to close this match out. 9-1. So it can't find something that works against Bobby. 10-1. Nobody shooting however he can. Yeah. Wow, what a time <laughs> for a side out for Ochoa, One ten. Second means the match. Yeah, this could be a costly, a costly mistake for Horn. Doesn't look like they can find a reason to wipe down the court now that they've checked it out. It's one serving ten. Big skip for Horn. And the trust starting up. He could be. Two serving ten. Sober high shot. That's a sick backhand from Ochoa. 3 10. Side out for Bobby Horn, and now his second match point. Let's see Ten, if he can three. close it up. Is he ended on that serve? Oh, no. That's a short serve. Sends a little love towards the ref, Christian Longoria. Ochoa with another side out on match point. Three serving ten. Come back for a second serve. Down the line from Horn for a side out. And now David Horn's third match point opportunity. They're going to get the towel out, wipe it down. If Bobby Horn can close out this point, he'll send himself to the final, which will be live streaming tomorrow, 12 noon Central Time. That's game. There it is. Game. Bobby Horn, 11-3 in the tiebreaker, defeating Ernesto Ochoa, who has had quite an outstanding performance, making it all the way to his first quarterfinal and first semifinal in his WRT career. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and stay tuned, because coming up, we have Rodrigo Montoya, number one, taking on Alex Cardona.